Good evening campers, it's me Kieran. Today we're going to talk about John Wyndham's The Day of the Triffids. I'm trying to branch out of literary fiction when it comes to books and sci-fi seems to be the one that I'm being drawn towards. I've read a few sci-fi books, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a complete novice here, but I think it's something that I want to investigate a bit more. I've recently read the fifth season and I will leave my coffee only review down below so if you want to support this channel that's one of the best ways to do it. John Wyndham's Day of the Triffids. Why did I decide to choose it? Roll it! So I need to up my science fiction game and oh, I don't know any of these names. Doom, this doom. I'm gonna choose John Wyndham. Yes because Wyndham is a Welsh name. I'm gonna go for the Day of the Triffids. I knew absolutely nothing about this but yes I chose it because Wyndham is a Welsh name. Thinking of names I swear we will get onto the book I promise you. John Wyndham's real name and I quote is John Wyndham Parks Lucas Bain and Harris. Why? Name a more British sounding person. The day of the Triffids starts off with William Mason trying to take off his bandages. He's had an operation and it seems as though no one is there. He starts kicking off saying like, I'm hungry, when's someone going to see me? But there's no response. He's surrounded in darkness and knows not what to do. I feel that it's secured in place, but is pretty confident that the operation was a success. But before he takes it off, thinks the window's going to be open. The window blind comes down, the blindfold comes off. Despite being in darkness, he knows that he can see. But something's off. The hustle and bustle of London is dead. So he goes exploring. Starts to realise that he is the only person who can see. Everyone else has gone blind. Now there might be some alarm bells rearing off in the background for some people. Let's go in. Saramago's blindness. It's it's like Saramago's blindness. And it is like Saramago's blindness. And I did kind of review Saramago's blindness and I'll leave that down below as well. Saramago's blindness depicts a time where everyone in the world begins to go blind and is trying to navigate through the world. However, within the Portuguese modern classic, there are no triffids. What is a triffid, you ask? They are carnivorous plants that walk. We don't know much about the triffids, but Mason believes that they are related to the USSR. Triffid seeds obtain a vast quantity of oil, and because of their output and production, were spread across the world to grow. The thing is, is that the triffids can move and walk. Now after a possible meteor shower that has caused everyone to go blind, the triffids have turned carnivorous. Although we might discover that it wasn't a meteor shower indeed. There is only one thing that Bill Mason can do, and he really does take a leaf out of Shaun of the Dead. He goes to the pub and, and waits for... <laughs> and waits for it to all blow over. I'm just being silly. There's a bit more to this story than in a pub. Later on, he encounters the novelist, Gisela Platon, who has been tied up by a blind person and is forced to scavenge for them. And the exploitation of the sighted for the blind is an occurrence throughout the Day of the Triffids. Bill has to save Gisela, but he isn't aware yet that she can see. He's also not aware that she is a novelist. But that happens. Bill and Gisela are trying to navigate through London to a better place. They're trying to get away from the Triffids. And here they encounter multiple people who have their own ideologies. The idea that causes the most turmoil is the idea of polyamory being the way forward. Which somehow leads to the burning of a university building. But the overall story of the day of the Triffids, reading it now, it's very anti Climactic. Wyndham isn't pulling any big shots here. There are no great ideas. How do you move away from human killing moving plants? Well, they just have to go with there aren't as many, which leads to a very anticlimactic but natural conclusion. But let's think about this book a little bit more and when it was written and the context. So Wyndham wrote this in the midst of the Cold War and there's definitely that relation between parties and ideologies that is more so damaging and more so violent than what the Triffids are doing. The Triffids though literally in the background for the majority of this are metaphorically in the background of all of this. The humans aren't really that afraid of 
the Triffids. In fact, the Triffids don't really intervene in any of this until the humans allow them a route to invade. This isn't like Cleveland where the aliens appear everywhere that the humans go. The humans have to allow the Triffids to enter their spaces. Equally, the danger of the Triffids is not parallel to when everyone went blind. That's not clear. So the Triffids are always this way. But yes, being blind to the situation doesn't help, but it hasn't completely hindered the humans. And if you think about what the Triffids stand for in the Cold War, yes, America and Russia are fighting against each other about ideas, about society, about the right way of living and how to look after everyone underneath a regime. But you can't really hear both sides clearly because all you're focused on is the armory and nuclear warfare deployments that could happen at every moment. And Wyndham here is definitely trying to communicate that maybe you shouldn't focus on the Triffids, you should focus on the situation at hand because the Triffids aren't going anywhere. We've built them to be what they are. They're always going to exist. They are always going to be present. We should focus on what's going to create a better society for us. What does that even look like? But really, if everything was to change and you move from Triffids to no Triffids, society has to propel itself. We have to be better. We have to change social norms and challenge the status quo. We shouldn't be focusing on the Triffids to move that. The day of the Triffids. It's okay, and I'd give it a 5 out of 10. It's kind of what you expect, and it, and it, it does the, the rational things that, that it has to do. And that's okay.